Queen Street Church School closed in 1978 after 130 years of public service. When the school doors closed for the last time, those fond memories of that first day at school, playtime in the schoolyard and school dinners, they all lingered on among hundreds of Barton families and thousands of local children. The school is part of the town's soul, really. It, it sits with other prominent Victorian buildings in the town centre that hint at life in the past, of the trials and the tribulations and the hopes and aspirations of our forebears. Few other small towns in Britain can boast of a tight group of Victorian public buildings. The school has a unique story to tell. When it opened, children would start work very young rather than stay at school. Infant schools were largely unheard of, but the idea was catching on, thanks largely to Samuel Wilderspin, who devised his system and it spread worldwide. He settled here in Barton to set up his last school as part of a new national or church school in the mid 1840s. It was a model school Everything was exactly as he specified as part of his system and it was used for training teachers too. As the building lay derelict for 30 years, local people began to mobilise to save this precious piece of British history. Volunteers formed the Queen Street School Preservation Trust in the early 1990s. Their mission was to save the building and to find an alternative use for it. It took many years to raise funds and work with local councils on different schemes. But eventually they arrived at a school museum as we know it today with rooms for community hire. We still rely on volunteers to work for the Trust and its various activities. Saving and running both buildings relies on thousands of hours of volunteers' time. We've got a team of about 40, 45 volunteers who help us manage and run the museum and the Joseph Wright Hall. And they do all sorts of tasks behind the scenes and face to face with visitors. Regulars help out almost every week, while others prefer to help just when they can. Flexibility is the name of the game. We were awarded the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service in 2018 and we're very proud of that. It's the MBE for Voluntary Groups and reflects our care of our volunteer staff and their contribution. We have a range of roles, both front of house and behind the scenes, and probably one of the most important of these is our visitor guides who work at reception and in our shop and welcome visitors and share with them the will to spin story. Another front of house role is our museum guides. We get lots of groups, adult groups, and sometimes we have costume guides at weekends or during school holidays. These people like to know more in-depth history about the school and share it with visitors. Behind the scenes, a lot of work is done to prepare the sites for visitors. So for instance, our gardeners meet weekly and keep Mr. Wilderspin's playground garden in tip-top condition. We have a sewing group and they work hard producing costume for many of our events. We have a maintenance group who come in every week and help maintain the building, making things, fixing things, painting things. We have a, a Joseph Wright Hall group that's planning the restoration of the chapel and preparing it to host community events and arts performances. All our volunteers really feel part of something and proud of the museum. Its unique link with Samuel Wilderspin and its history as a school. Indeed, some are former pupils and staff of the church school. They love to be part of a project of national and international significance. There's no other site dedicated to the legacy of Wilderspin anywhere. So, we're very proud of what we've achieved here in Barton. We're proud of our Wilderspin legacy and sharing that story nationally and internationally. Thank you to our funders, 
such as the National Lottery Heritage Fund and the Humber Museums Partnership and Arts Council of England. Because without them, none of this would have happened. But without our volunteers, too, none of this would have happened. Some of them are former pupils of the school, some are former staff. But we're always wanting more. So, if you think you would like to be involved in this project, please get in touch or go online. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.